I don't know. I think just from just the feel, I feel like they may have they stretched the defense out a little bit, made them you know guard us beyond the arc, gave us a little more space to drive, penetrate gaps. So making shots the game is a little more easier for sure. Um, teams get the scrambling, running guys off, and just playing off goes out. So. Austin and D'Angelo, I think I've asked you guys this question several times, but how much joy do you guys get out of playing with each other? Because tonight was another example of you guys looking really good. How are you doing, guys, buddy? You ready? <laughs> you know, I, I just you left him in there. I like him as a person. Yeah. Yep. What's up, D'Angelo? Yeah, we should start saying the same thing. I don't know. I mean, I, I, have, fun. Say, I have fun seeing him. I think it's the fire. Me. What you say? Oh, he's a great guy. We go off. He's going to be on my podcast soon. <laughs> Um, we'll see. And we have a lot of <laughs> money's right. Five <laughs> Stop. I got his, got, his, got his bargain. Um, but yeah, we, we, we enjoy each other, though, honestly. Um, on and off the floor, we have a good time. Um, you see on the floor, kind of translate. You know, we kind of feed off of each other, encourage each other, exciting each other does well. So, I mean, I think that's where winning starts. You know, when your team becomes that, becomes contagious as a group. Who's a better golfer? Oh, for sure, he's the better golfer. Don't even lie. Don't say no. No, he's he the he better golfer. One and one right now. Are we? Yeah. Yeah, we, we played in a while. We played. Uh, we played yesterday. We played yesterday. <laughs> but we didn't gamble yesterday. We didn't gamble yesterday. Yeah, but we won. I had a night off. I had a day off yesterday. Yeah, I knew better. Uh, you guys uh, just finished this ten game homestand, uh, six and four. What, what do you feel like you learned about this group over the last two three weeks? Uh, I mean, you know, being home all month was nice. Uh, you know, obviously there was games in that, you know, 10 games where, you know, we feel like we <clears throat> could have won, should have won. Um, but, you know, to play the way we played tonight, uh, other than a little bit in the fourth quarter, um, gives us a, a lot of momentum going into this road trip and something that we really needed. Uh, after the loss of the night against the Clippers, I thought we played super hard. Uh, just didn't really make shots, couldn't get stops. But um, you know, being home is always good, and you know, having a winning record, you know, through that uh, ten game stretch, wish it was better. But uh, this one was big, big tonight to get some momentum going into that. D'Angelo, the team is obviously the sum of all its parts. Uh, I'm just curious about how you view your own kind of puzzle piece to everything. And when you were out with the tailbone, the Lakers looked as lost as they really lost, looked all season long. Uh, and now over this recent stretch of play, you guys are playing some of the best of your personal play, you guys as a team, you know, maybe look as um, encouraging as you looked all season long since that game. So uh, it's where, kind of what, what do you view as your role? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just try to, like I said, uh, a few maybe a few interviews ago, just trying to compliment um, Brian AD. To be honest, I know they they can get us out of games single handedly. So to be um, just try to just try, try to compliment them. If that's me shooting, facilitating, whatever it may be. Um, I've been in a few different situations, so just adapting to my situation. The sooner, the better for me always. And um, this is me adapting to. What my role is, obviously, I, I don't really know, but I'm just. I think that aggression is allowing me to have some success. Yeah. Guys, we talked a lot about continuity and feel. I think you've sat here and said we're a team that's figuring it out <laughs> countless times. You guys have had 27 or more assists now, I think, in nine straight games. Um, what does that say about the figuring it out process on offense and, and on the court, outside of the statistics? Does it feel more comfortable? Mm, I think it's up and down. I think um, when we're good, we're good. When we're bad, we're bad. Um, finding a way to have those in-between games, you know, where we can still manage to either get a win or give ourselves a chance. Um, I think that's what we're lacking right now. Um, obviously, y'all see us play well. Y'all see us play bad. But when we can, the games that aren't so well, we don't get off to a good start or we're down 15 or something like that, if we can find ways to, to claw and get ourselves a chance, I think, that's when we're making those strides. I don't think we've had that adversity yet. You know, we kind of go down and then we never come back. Or we go up and they may come back a little bit and we find a way to get the win. 
So I just think we're missing that element of just that adversity, um, grinding wins out, being down, and, and, and coming together in the midst of the, the, the adversity. So. Throughout the, this are both of you guys, or either of you guys, throughout the month of Darwin's mentioned limbo rate. Um, when did that become, I guess, a conversation internally within the team, and how have you felt that help you guys if you guys feel it has? Um, I don't know when it came about. Uh, probably when, I think when we got back from New Orleans, maybe it started uh, around that time, but just being decisive with what we want to do. Uh, don't be in the middle. If you're going to crash off into God, glass, crash. If not, get back. Um, and that, you know, that goes for everything else uh, in the game. Just don't be in the middle of making a decision. Just make the decision and live with the results. That's really all I kind of took from it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we <clears throat> have done uh, a much better job of that as I spoke about last game. Bando having six offensive rebounds. Like, that's where he can really impact the game. Um, How about Vando tonight? Like, my bad, bro. No, you're good. Y'all got to talk about Vando whenever He should be in two instead of me right now. Way. So <laughs> he just wanted the night off. So I said, I'm going to come sit tweet. here and listen to d talk. Chill, 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 chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> whenever y'all tweet, though, man, make sure y'all give Vando some love, man. He played his ass off. For sure. Hey, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to do it. Hey, d just, you know, with this type of win tonight, how much at peace can you guys be knowing that so you guys had your struggles uh, in the season that you can pull out a performance like this? And how can you guys take from this and grow, you know, going forward with this long, you know, rest of the season still remaining? Yeah, I think any win in this league's a uh, confidence booster. Um, good, bad, ugly, no matter what. And like you said, this is a good win for us going on to this road trip coming up. And um, just knowing we can compete against a lot of teams and we can beat a lot of teams. They beat us recently in Chicago, so for us to come back and get one, they're a well-coached team, well, well stuck. Like, the whole team is capable of doing a lot of different things, so um, it was a good win for us. So I don't know. D'Angelo, it just so happens, I was going to ask you about Vanderbilt. That last stretch in the second quarter, he comes in with about two minutes left, 10-0 run, you know, some of his typical activity. What have you seen from him getting back to that kind of level of full health and you know, that obviously is the group that you played a lot with last year, later in the season. Uh, what what clicked there tonight, and you know, you know, how could that be a factor moving forward? I mean, when you when you talk about working in the game, he's doing that. You know, all summer he worked on those things, and kind of seen today a lot of glimpses of him just kind of doing the stuff that he's worked on with confidence. Um, and then when he's healthy, he's a beast. I mean, a lot of teams know that they value it. When he's making that shot, teams try to you know help off of him. He's making that shot. He's that much more dangerous. You know, any winning team needs a piece like that. So shout out to him. Like he'll he'll be on a lot of winning teams throughout his career. Dilo, you looked like you were hooping in your backyard um, tonight, and you looked like you were really in rhythm. So, uh, how rewarding is it to see kind of this stretch for you personally just pay off, and in a sense where you are in the season and just kind of overall helping the team? Just help. I think just helping the team get wins. Um, I have a lot of fun out there. Um, whenever I'm making shots like that, it's, I feel really, feel, I have a lot of fun doing it. So um, trying to showcase it, it's contagious. You know, I think anybody, everybody kind of started shooting with that confidence a little bit. And it just makes us that hard, makes us that much harder to guard. Um, and my confidence is through the roof right now. Keep it there. It's always good to have that. Thank you. It's always the talk to him.